the top of the hour and welcome Thursday's connected to Friday. I'm Robin Mead. Appreciate you being with us here. So let's get you with news in the fast lane. So a man from Ohio is accused of plotting an ISIS. You know, it's not just your coworkers who don't want you at work sick. President Obama doesn't want you going to work sick either. So he's pushing for paid sick days. You know, yeah. if you do have paid sick days, count yourself among the lucky because so many Americans don't. Good morning. Tens of millions, Robin. So many people. So the White House is asking Congress professionals. I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. All right. You know, the two guys who were uh, climbing Al Cap. I would love the live band factor and right. the fact that they're a good band. But it's unplanned. But, you know? but I, I don't know if I would like the spotlight on them and not me. That's what I'm saying. Plus the guy with the accordion Stand that you did hide. hire, the guy that you accord, the accordion you hired, he's going to be sitting there like, oh, man, what am I going to do now? Or you could go... <laughs> Look at Adam Levine. Look at your new husband. Uh, look at Adam Levine. Look at that your new husband. That would make me the angriest. I'm like, who is this punk showing up and out shining me for crying out loud? But yeah, that'd make me angry. But hey, good morning to you. Good Let me show you what's going on. A little bit of brief snow right now around Massachusetts. Let me show you this. You have an inverted trough. Fantastic. From you, the viewer, sitting yeah. at home in your jammies, at least I'm at home. I'm getting a ton of great ones, and I appreciate it. At Bob Van Dillon. Love you. We're going to make you star, stars. Yeah. All right. Uh, NASCAR's driver, Kurt Borsch's ex. So watch what happens when the hunter becomes the hunted. Oh, um, that must be one hungry, hungry hippo chasing a boat and almost catches it. I want that. <laughs> with one arm, you got your coffee. With the other arm, you got whatever else is in the fridge. Yeah. Um, listen, an Indianapolis Colts linebacker is accused of sexual assault. And so it, it comes just days before that team plays in the AFC championship game. Yeah, against the Patriots. And he's a backup at his position. Yeah, he's, he plays for uh, special teams. He's also a backup linebacker. His name's Josh McNary. He's 26 years old. He's facing several. Imagine that, not speaking to the press, and get fined $100,000. There you go. On the other hand, I can see how... Um, you get paid tons of money. Get, well, and, and that coverage of the NFL is important to the success of the NFL. And I think about the NASCAR drivers. They're doing, like, meet and greets and oh, fan yeah. hellos and interviews right up until they get in the car. Constantly working right before they get in. Yeah, there. yeah. yeah. Um, the drought in California may soon be draining your wallet. You could feel the pinch the next time. You know, the son of evangelist Billy Graham wants people to stop donating money to Duke University because it's built. You know, the grocery store is going to take a bigger bite out of your wallet this year. Um, that's because some of your favorite foods are obviously going to cost more. But why? So Jen has been watching this for you. Good morning. Good morning. That was a trend in 2014. So look out. Beef prices up a buck a pound this year. Lean ground beef costs an average of $6 work with the tea. So Looped, Looped work. Works got all the old leather and remade it. Yeah. These are all from Southwest Seats. Mm -hmm. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's tush was on that seat, but who knows how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. Appreciate it. 25 minutes past the hour here. Um, divers have found and they photographed the few weather 38 minutes past the hour mm -hmm. now so um I, I, when i read over bob's weather note today a, a couple of times i heard a quick hitter a yeah, quick hitter yeah. in different situations and so he's about to show you one right now good morning yeah, good morning we've got two you're right we've got one north of the great lakes in canada and we've got a our movie you know wall street took another hit yesterday now if you're someone who says i don't i don't invest i'm just trying to you know get through my day here mm. what's it mean to me Jen, um, it was the fourth day in a row that the stocks closed in the red. Yeah. So the big picture here, good morning. Well, it tells you that we've gone from, uh, you know, these very warm feelings, content, warm and fuzzy feelings about the economy. Yeah. Like, jump out of the way. All cars that go through here are supposed to be in neutral. Then they get pushed through on this very slow conveyor belt, but he went straight through the car wash. 